All right, guys, Papa Pepper here. Today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about fear and specifically being afraid of snakes because uh, there's a couple of things I've noticed. Now, first of all, this is a wild snake. It's a northern water snake. It's non-venomous, but it's also not uh, not domesticated or not a pet, anything like that. Um, it's, it's definitely wild. Um, one thing about these snakes is that they are what I would call defensive. And why I say defensive is that it's not going to really aggress me, it's not going to attack me. But when you grab one, the most common thing for these guys to do right away is to bite you. That's defense. When you grab or attack, um, they will, uh, oh, see he's right up in my face there, but uh, they will defend themselves. Um, one thing I will say right away too is that, uh, you know, don't, don't just go pick up any snake in the wild. A lot of places, a lot of areas, there are some very dangerous snakes and uh, stuff you really just shouldn't be be around or be messing with uh, unless you have some clue what you're doing. Now, I'm not a trained professional in about anything. I just do a lot of things and I've been doing them a long time so don't take me as an example. Don't compare yourself to myself. Um, but one thing that I've noticed is that with the fear of snakes is that a lot of people who are afraid of snakes um, often say things like, oh I've never touched one. I, I don't even like to look at them. Those type of things. And one thing that is, is I believe, a, just a fear of the unknown, a fear of that which you're not familiar with. Um, I grew up doing this. Um, where I was, all the snakes I encountered my entire life were non-venomous. So the most they could do is give you a little bite. Uh, bees sting worse than a lot of uh, non-venomous snakes bite, so there wasn't really a lot to worry about. Um, but I have a respect. Um, for these creatures and uh, and I understand the danger that I'm putting myself in. Uh, right now I consider it very minimal. While this snake could completely bite me in my face right now, I'm thinking it's not going to and even if it does, I'm fully okay with that. Um, I'm fully okay with that as a potential outcome. So, um, but one thing that I would encourage people to do is there are plenty of snakes out there that are very docile. There are some that really won't, won't bite pretty much. And uh, there's some that are pets that people have like ball pythons. Um, they're pretty much a pretty, a pretty chill snake. Um, so if you do have a fear of something, one thing I'd recommend is actually exposing yourself to it on some level. Um, a lot of people are afraid of the way that these feel when you touch them, but they've never touched them. Okay, here they've got a nice rough back, and then on the belly it's very smooth, as long as you rub with the grain, um, it's very different rubbing against the grain, but uh, you know, if you're not sure how they feel, then you really shouldn't be afraid of how they feel. Um, also, if you've never held one, uh, it's kind of like holding a rabbit, okay? Now there are rabbits that are, that would hurt me a lot more than this snake, trust me. I've, I've been kicked by rabbits, I've been scratched by rabbits, I've been cut open by rabbits before. A lot of other animals, in fact, I, I would say I have a greater fear or hesitation of holding on to a lot of mammals than I do a lot of uh, reptiles. Um, now, there's certainly very dangerous reptiles and reptiles that could kill me, but a lot of times the reptiles that I interact with are, they pale in comparison to how dangerous just even something like a squirrel or a muskrat or a beaver or different uh, different mammals would be. But, um, you know, my point was, is that, you know, if you've never touched a bunny, who's afraid of touching a bunny? Usually not really anyone. So one thing, I, like I said, the main point is that people often fear that, which they don't understand. If you've never been around um, certain creatures, if you've never touched them, if you've never observed them, if you've never handled them, then then your fear is pretty much, you know, of the unknown. Um, it's different for me because I've grown up doing this. I, I understand and I respect them, so I don't know. If you guys are around sometime and I've got one, I'll show you one. But, uh, you know, like I said, this is a wild snake. It could bite me in the face, yet I'll touch my nose to it. It'll lick my nose with its tongue and still not strike me. If it did, 
I'd be okay with that. I've been bit in the face before with them. I've actually been out catching snakes sometimes, and you grab so many of them, you run out of hands to hold them, and I've held them in my mouth while I grabbed another one. Um, and then, of course, one thing to keep with you, too, is I try not to leave home without a snake bag. So again, this is, I think, a big female northern water snake, a very, very beautiful snake. And some people say, you know, it's got round pupils, it's non-venomous. Round pupils means it's not a pit viper. Here in the United States, pit vipers include things like um, the rattlesnakes, um, cottonmouths, and then copperheads are all pit vipers. In fact, this one just started flattening its body and reshaping its head to look more like a pit viper there, but it's done now. But uh, they all have the heat pits and they all have the cat eyes, but then there's also snakes like the coral snake or uh, some sea snakes, other snakes around the world that are venomous and don't have cat eyes. They have round pupils, so don't use that as any way of understanding if something is uh, venomous or not. Know the snakes in your area, know what they look like, know the threats, and uh, you know, pretty much leave them alone. Even these guys, like I said, they're not aggressive. If I walk by a body of water, these guys run away from me. I have to chase them. Um, I, I've never been chased by a snake, but I've chased a lot of them. They try to get away from me, and then when I grab them is when they bite me if they bite me. Um, they don't come attack me and bite me. Uh, never had that happen. So I won't call them aggressive. I'll call them defensive. But this one's going back to the wild. I just thought I'd talk about fear and just kind of show you a wild snake. You know, and that sometimes there's really nothing to, nothing to fear but, but the unknown. So make it, make it known to yourself. All right, guys, pop out.